Imagine a universe not as an endless expanse, but as an egg, an egg containing within it all the stars, galaxies, planets, and life itself. This is the Brahmanda, the cosmic egg, a concept at the heart of ancient Hindu cosmology. It's a potent symbol speaking of creation, sustenance, and dissolution, a cycle that repeats for eternity. The Brahmanda is not just a physical entity, it's a philosophical construct. It encourages us to see the universe as a living entity, a being with a beginning, a lifespan, and an end, only to be reborn again. It's a concept that challenges our linear perception of time and invites us to contemplate the cyclical nature of existence. The Brahmanda, with its layers of symbolism, presents a fascinating alternative to the way we typically understand the universe. It offers a framework to understand the vastness of the cosmos and our place within it. In exploring the Brahmanda, we are exploring not just an ancient myth, but a profound cosmological vision that continues to resonate with us today. As we delve deeper into the concept of the Brahmanda, we encounter an intriguing intersection between ancient Hindu cosmology and modern scientific thought. Both narratives, despite their distinct origins, offer profound insights into the nature of the universe. Modern cosmology, with its roots in empirical evidence and mathematical modeling, presents a universe that began with a singularity known as the Big Bang. This event set in motion the expansion of the cosmos, leading to the formation of galaxies, stars and planets. Time is perceived as linear, moving from the past through the present and into the future, potentially culminating in scenarios like the Big Freeze, Big Rip or Big Crunch. In contrast, ancient Hindu cosmology envisions time as cyclical. The universe undergoes endless cycles of creation, sustenance and dissolution. This cyclical nature is embodied in the Brahmanda, where universes are born, live, die, and are reborn in an eternal dance. The forces at play in this cosmology are the three gunas, sattva, rajas, and tamas, which influence the behavior of prakriti, or primal matter. While modern cosmology relies on four fundamental forces, gravity, electromagnetism, strong nuclear, and weak nuclear, to explain the structure and behavior of the universe, Ancient Hindu cosmology centers around a divine act of creation, resulting in a layered universe with multiple realms, or lokas, each representing different states of existence. One of the most striking differences lies in the role of consciousness. Modern cosmology typically views consciousness as a byproduct of physical processes, something that can be explained through natural laws. In contrast, ancient Hindu cosmology often intertwines the universe with consciousness, suggesting that the cosmos itself is a manifestation of a universal consciousness. Despite these differences, both cosmologies strive to answer the same fundamental questions. Where did we come from? What is the nature of the universe? And what is our place within it? By exploring both perspectives, we gain a richer, more nuanced understanding of the cosmos and our role in its grand narrative. As we move forward, Let's delve into the seeds of the universe and trace the origins of the Brahmanda concept through ancient scriptures and philosophical thought. The concept of the Brahmanda can be traced back to the Rig Veda, the oldest of the Hindu scriptures. Here, the universe is described as emerging from a primordial void, a state of potentiality. From this void arose Hiranyagarbha, the golden egg, the first manifestation of creation. This golden egg contained within it the potential for everything that exists. It held the blueprint for the universe, the seeds of stars and galaxies, life and consciousness. The Rig Veda describes the emergence of the creator god Brahma from this golden egg, signifying the beginning of the creative process. The Brahmanda, therefore, represents not just the physical universe, but the very source of creation itself. It's a concept that encapsulates the idea of a universe born out of a state of pure potentiality, a void pregnant with possibility. The image of the golden egg serves as a powerful metaphor for the birth of the universe, a moment of cosmic awakening. The Brahmanda is not a simple homogeneous entity. It is described as having multiple layers representing different levels of reality. These layers are not just physical, but also represent different planes of existence, each with its unique characteristics. At the center of the Brahmanda lies Buloka, the earthly realm, our familiar world of matter and experience. Surrounding Buloka are other lokas, celestial realms inhabited by various beings and deities. These realms represent higher states of being, characterized by increasing levels of consciousness and spiritual refinement. The outermost layer of the Brahmanda is Brahmaloka, the abode of Brahma, the creator god. This realm 
is the source of cosmic energy, the driving force behind the cyclical creation and dissolution of the universe. The Brahmanda thus is not just a physical space, but a multi-layered reality encompassing the material and the spiritual. The universe, according to Hindu cosmology, is not a static entity, but a dynamic process of creation and destruction. The Brahmanda goes through cycles of expansion and contraction, with periods of manifestation followed by periods of dissolution. This cyclical nature is often depicted as the cosmic dance of Shiva, the god of destruction and renewal. Each cycle begins with the emergence of the Brahmanda from the primordial void. Brahma, the creator god, emerges from the cosmic egg and sets the process of creation in motion. The universe expands. Stars are born, galaxies form, and life arises in its myriad forms. This expansion continues until it reaches its peak, after which the process of dissolution begins. Shiva the Destroyer takes over and the universe collapses back into the primordial void. The Brahmanda returns to its seed state, awaiting the next cycle of creation. This cosmic dance continues for eternity, a rhythmic pulse of creation and destruction. The dynamics of the Brahmanda are often explained through the concept of Gunas. Gunas are three fundamental forces or qualities. Sattva, purity and harmony, Rajas, action and passion, and Tamas, inertia and darkness that govern the functioning of the universe. These Gunas are in constant interplay, their relative dominance determining the state of the universe. During the creation phase, Sattva is dominant, leading to order and harmony. As Rajas increases, the universe becomes more active and diverse. Finally, Tamas takes over, leading to inertia and eventual dissolution. This interplay of Gunas provides a framework for understanding the cyclical nature of the universe and the forces that drive its expansion and contraction. This concept, while metaphorical, offers an intriguing parallel to modern physics concepts like entropy and the expansion and contraction of the universe. The concept of the Brahmanda while rooted in ancient mythology, presents intriguing parallels with modern cosmology. Both envision a universe with a beginning, an evolution and an eventual end. The Big Bang Theory, with its idea of the universe originating from a singularity, echoes the concept of the primordial void and the emergence of the cosmic egg. The expansion of the universe, as observed in modern cosmology, also resonates with the cyclical expansion and contraction of the Brahmanda. The concept of entropy, the tendency towards disorder, finds an echo in the increasing influence of Tamas leading to the dissolution of the universe. However, there are also significant divergences. Modern cosmology is based on empirical observation and mathematical models, while the Brahmanda is a philosophical and spiritual construct. The cyclical nature of the Brahmanda, with its endless cycles of creation and destruction, contrasts with the linear timeline proposed by modern cosmology. The cyclical nature of the Brahmanda challenges our conventional understanding of time. If the universe goes through endless cycles of creation and destruction, then time is not linear, but cyclical. The concept of a beginning and an end becomes blurred, replaced by a continuous process of renewal. Within this cyclical framework, even the concept of eternity takes on a different meaning. It's not an endless linear progression, but an infinite repetition of cosmic cycles. This cyclical perspective encourages us to see time as a rhythm, a cosmic dance of creation and dissolution. The Brahmanda, therefore, invites us to contemplate time not as a rigid, linear construct, but as a fluid, cyclical process. It challenges us to look beyond the limitations of our earthly perception of time and embrace a broader, cosmic perspective. The Brahmanda, the cosmic egg, serves as a powerful reminder of our place in the universe. We are not isolated beings, but integral parts of a vast cosmic cycle. Our lives are interwoven with the life of the universe, subject to the same forces of creation, sustenance and dissolution. Understanding the Brahmanda allows us to see ourselves not just as inhabitants of a planet, but as participants in a grand cosmic drama. It encourages us to recognize the interconnectedness of all things, the cyclical nature of time and the impermanence of all manifested forms. The Brahmanda offers a profound philosophical and spiritual perspective, inviting us to contemplate the mysteries of creation, the nature of time,